Hi LCCS! Today we're going to be making a drawing that's going to be a piece of cake. Literally, a cake. Today we're making an artwork inspired by Wayne Theobald, an American artist who used to paint lots of pictures of cakes, pies, and lipstick. He is a very famous pop artist and he used to use very, very bright, bright colors. What you need for this project is a pencil, paper, and something to color with. I have oil pastels. What we're gonna do to start off with is on our paper, we're going to, at the top, make a big oval. Just like that. This is gonna be the top of our cake. Then, from each side, we're gonna make two lines that go down. One line, two lines. Just like that. The top of our cake is curved, so the bottom will have to be curved as well. So when we go to the bottom, make sure you do a big curve at the bottom. Now, this cake is going to have a slice taken out of it. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to make a triangle at the top, two lines going down. Now we can erase all the lines inside like this. Now, to make it look 3D, we're gonna make a line going down, but not all the way down. And then we're going to do another triangle at the bottom. To make it look like a slice has been taken out of our cake. Now, right now this doesn't look so much like a cake, it just looks like an oval. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on a plate. is also an oval. And then you're gonna add whatever decorations you want. I'm gonna add icing. I'm gonna add inside the cake, I'm gonna add icing in the middle, cause some cakes are put together kind of like with icing holding together two smaller pieces of uh, cake, like that. I'm gonna do, let's see, some little candies on the top that are shaped like gems. add some candles you can decorate your cake any way you want you can use any colors you want but everything has to be colored in no white spots careful coloring which means if I want to make the cake orange I'm using small strokes to make sure I color in the whole thing and I'm pressing dark. Okay. And it's also a good thing to outline so that you have less chances of getting stuff in the spots where you don't want it to be. The most important part is coloring it in really well, no white spots. Let's see here, I'm going to outline If you have a friend to help you color, then you can do it together, your siblings or cousins, whoever you're with, and you guys can color together. That way you guys can get it done faster. I 
Okay, so here's the finished piece. As you can tell, Miss Maddie and I use very, very bright colors. We left no white spots. Even this color here, that's very light, is actually a light green. So this is the way I wanna see you guys make yours. Beautiful and well colored in. All right, I can't wait to see what you guys make. Bye.